Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's angel reading for April the 10th, and wow, time is flying, and things seem to be moving really quickly lately, and since spring, we've literally sprung forward with a whole bunch of new energies, and in that period of time, what I've been noticing is, is that things are manifesting at a really rapid rate. And the angels this week want to remind you of just how powerful of a manifester each one of us are. And that we are co-creators and that we have the capacity to turn around and shift any situation. And it all begins with our own thoughts. And in fact, the first card that um, I pulled, if you pick card number one as well and you selected it, it is the card of the Law of Attraction. Okay, so the angels want to remind you that every thought that you have is an investment into your well-being, into your future, and um, into your lives, ultimately. And with every given thought, you have a choice of the vibration in which you choose and in which you are offering the universe. And that is a thought of love versus a thought of fear. In either way, the universe holds no judgment. Whatever it is that you are offering, it will align and match for you. And be very attuned with what you're projecting and think of yourselves pretty much as a magnet and what you are projecting, you are magnetically attracting instantaneously in some cases. And so this is not the time to self-deprecate, have negative thoughts and feelings, um, beating yourself up, or any type of self-judgment thoughts, because they are having an immediate physiological impact in your body and repeatedly can have detrimental effects. So that said, if you are having trouble with this, ask the angels to help you with keeping your thoughts positive and coming from a place of love. And the best place to start is with thoughts of self-love. So if you're feeling in a low place right now, um, ask the angels to assist and start by choosing words that lift yourself up. And by doing so, you then raise yourself to a higher frequency, which will then have a ripple effect on everything and everyone around you. Just know that the choices are always up to you. And because of free will, you are free to choose whatever thought you wish. But if you are looking to change any situation for the better, or to improve a situation, or even to keep at a higher frequency, keep your thoughts in um, coming from a place of love. And they're reiterating that, as I'm saying, is that to remind you that um, to keep your thoughts from a place of self-love. Okay, and the second card is the opportunity to forgive in that the angels are reminding you that the person that perhaps in this situation or circumstance that you perhaps want to consider forgiving is in fact yourself. So if you've been hard on yourself, if you've been tough um, by beating yourself up or any sort of self-negative deprecating thoughts, then Free yourself by beginning with forgiving yourself. Now, this card could also imply that you are in a situation or circumstance right now where you are in conflict, either with a family member, a loved one, or a partner. And to see this particular situation from a higher place of reasoning. And that all, healness, all healing can really start with is when you start with a place of forgiveness and love. And that doesn't mean... That what the other person did was okay but what it is saying is that you're releasing that part of the situation or the energy that is weighing you down and that is causing you grief and that is causing you to feel um, um, hurt or angry or upset so forgiving the other person means you're setting yourself free from those emotions that are creating toxicity in your life okay and whatever the situation or circumstance is, if it's a crisis that you're experiencing with a partner, 
with your occupation or with your self, the angels um, suggest that this is the time to just hand it over to God and the angels and release and surrender. Start with a prayer and ask whatever it is that you request help for, and then just turn it over. This is a period actually where many of you are going through major transitions. And we know with the energy forecasts and everything that was happening in the last couple of weeks, that this week could feel a little bit shaky because it could mean you're changing that job or you could be leaving that partner or starting that new business or getting into a new relationship, whatever it is. This particular week, the energies are helping to assist with that transition. So that can cause some fear and some um, and being scared, absolutely. So whatever it is, the angels are saying, just let them help. And because of free will, they won't interfere unless if you ask. So some people say to me, you know, Farhan, I don't know how to ask. I'm like, well, how do you ask someone to help you with carrying your groceries or um, when you need a lift or a ride? It's no different. The angels hear your every word and your every word is a form of prayer. If you're having difficulties verbalizing it, then write it down in whatever capacity in which you wish to ask. Your angels will hear your prayers and then just pay attention to the signs and the guidance that you receive. So that's your angel reading for this week. Um, I really appreciate all the great feedback that I've been getting and um, the comments that I've been reading and people have been inboxing me. So that's fantastic. I really appreciate um, being able to do this and to be of service to you this way. So I look forward to another angel reading, perhaps next Friday or sooner. You never know what the angels have in store. If you are interested in booking an angel reading for me, please contact me at my website and just click where it says farhandala.com for more information. Till next time, angel blessings.